Good morning, adventurers, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a work day around camp, so that means that we are catching up on Nomad News, doing some other things, and um, we're about to cook some food. I, now, when I say morning, I mean it's more like lunch. We've been up for quite a while, but, you know, I'm just talking to you all now. But today we're going to be making some pizzas using the Ridge Monkey and Riley's stove. So uh, this should be kind of tasty. I'm really excited. Let's go. You can see my work set up right here. I have my laptop set onto a couple things that elevate it. I have my mouse. We're already scrolling off a video. We're making progress for today, but now we need to get into the fridge. Okay, so these are the ones that we're making today. I have not made these before. We picked them up at the 99 cent store. And so we just took them from the frozen fruit section and we let them defrost because that's what lets them cook the best in the Ridge Monkey. And so today we're gonna be using the big pan for this. And we have to collect Riley's from her. Riley, Riley, Riley. Hello. Do you have a pizza? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Riley is going to have the deluxe and then I am having the sausage and pepperoni. So this should be interesting. Oh no, I messed up guys, I forgot my plate. I've gotta go find that real quick. Good news is, this is cooking. It'll be cooking for a couple minutes and uh, I have time. Under the bed we go. I need to do some sweeping because my uh, ladder has been bringing in some dust, but that's okay. And I see it, it's over here on the edge. We can do it. There we go. I need to clean this up a little bit. It looks like it's gotten destroyed by rubbing up against stuff. Oh well, we'll do that in a minute. It's gonna struggle a little bit because we didn't put up the windscreen, but it's too windy to put up the windscreen and it just like be okay. So I don't know what to do. Okay, Riley has hers. We're gonna try hers, see if it works. I don't know if this is gonna help, but listen to it. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. Okay, this is what it looks like with the windscreen. It seems to be working a bit better, so that's good. That's gonna trap the heat inside the Ridge Monkey so it can cook more evenly. Now this Ridge Monkey is the bigger one. And it's the one that has the slotted top. So we can't really do a flip on this one. So I'm really interested to see what happens. Um, this could be good. This could be weird. We may have to leave it in a little bit longer. I have no idea. Now, normally I use the smaller Ridge Monkey and I make my pizzas in that and I get those little Red Baron like thick crust, I guess. And they're really good and they fit perfectly. These are a little bit too big to put in that Ridge Monkey. And so we can't do the true flip. Um, not sure how that's gonna work. I may have to manually flip it. I'm not sure, uh, but this is a new journey for us with the Ridge Monkey. And I love using the Ridge Monkey and learning more. So I uh, wanted to share this with you guys. Okay, Riley gave me these. She's gonna assist me and uh, we're gonna try to flip this. I do not know if this is gonna work. It could be a disaster, but we're gonna try. That's how we're cooking it. <laughs> just for a minute, just for a minute. We're not gonna leave it on long. We just wanna make sure the top is nice and done. Okay, give it a second. It's sizzling good. It sounds good. Are you ready? Are you ready to see what it looks like now? Okay, we're sizzling. We're cooking. We're doing good. Oh, that actually looks good. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm going to serve Riley one. Mm. So, um, Riley, let's do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, okay, maybe we can do this. We don't have a spatula out right now. One, two, three, go. go, you got this, you got this. <laughs> that one side's a little wonky, but you know, it's okay. I think we did good. Woohoo! So Riley, I know it's kind of warm right now to the touch, but whenever you eat it, you'll have to let me know what you think. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put mine in. Okay.
Okay, I went ahead and wiped my plate down really good, made sure it was nice. The problem I found with using the plastic plates, which I do prefer on the road, is that I use this also as a cutting board, and you can see where my knife has kind of like scored the top of it a few times. So eventually I'll have to replace this, but this was a 50 cent plate. I'm not mad about that. I've had this in my van since basically the beginning of my van. So this is almost a two year old 50 cent plate. I mean, like really. Let's give it a check. Kristen, come back. Woo, we're not there yet, but it's getting some good stuff. I think it's time for us to do the flip. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna get Riley to help me out a little bit so you guys can see what that looks like one more time. Okay, here we go. And wait, where's your plate? I'm flipping. Oh, you're flipping. I got it a little bit more charred this time. I'm trying out different things on the timing because since we're getting used to this one, it's a little bit harder. At the same time, this will come off. So this isn't like messing up the whole pizza. I'm okay with this. Okay, we're turning it off because the pizza is done. It's nice and sizzly. And so I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to take this side that I kind of messed up. I'm just gonna pull it over here and then get my toppings that I dropped and put them on top of the pizza. You know, one of the things I've learned using the Ridge Monkey is that you can experiment with all sorts of different foods that you might not think work well in the Ridge Monkey and they tend to work out. You just have to adapt a little bit. So like the other one where it's perfect and then you can do that even flip with this one, since you can't, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but this looks really good now and I'm super excited. And uh, this is gonna be the perfect editing snack. So while I am uh, eating this, I'm gonna let you guys see what camp looks like a little bit more. And for the time being, because we might eat some more of uh, these, we have one more each. I'm gonna leave this out and let it cool off. And then if we decide that we're still hungry, we'll cook again. In the meantime, I have this little gargoyle who is not letting me into my van. Tyson, can I get in my van, please? <laughs> no, 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 okay, cool. And Riley is cleaning off her solar panels a little bit so yeah. that she can get a better draw. Right now, two of them are plugged in. And I'm only getting in like 70 watts. Ooh, so they're real dusty. So it's real, yeah. <laughs> it needs a real good washing. Yeah, it happens. You know, one of the things that we've been seeing a lot from people is that they didn't know what to expect when they went to Schoolypalooza and then they were slammed with dust. That's part of it. Anytime that you're coming to the desert, you can look forward to some crazy winds and some dust. This year, it's been a little worse than usual. We're very fortunate that right now it feels wonderful out here and there's no wind but this morning we woke up and there was a little bit of wind so it just kind of changes throughout the day but you know that's just kind of part of it okay we just finished up a nomad news story letting my feet be in the warm sun just a little bit it's kind of nice we need a trash day we need a trash day tomorrow for sure but um in the meantime getting a lot of stuff done it's kind of that weird time of day though where it's kind of too cool but also too warm so I took off my hoodie but now I'm regretting it I don't know this is just kind of how it is whenever you're in the desert some days it's like this where you just continue to take on and off layers but it is kind of nice to have this little sunspot to kind of heat my feet so to speak um, in the meantime trying to get out as many videos as I possibly can today we already have two down yes already one of them is uploaded yes super happy about this progress hey riley yeah what are you working on i'm working on a, a video i'm editing a video this one's all about tyson ooh, ooh. so if you guys are interested in seeing a video strictly from tyson's perspective riley's working on that she should have it out pretty soon i'm not sure if this video will be out or that video but go check it out either way Okay, so this is the bag. I have a few other things in here also, but this is the bag in question with all the fun snacks. So I'm gonna pull the snacks out and then the other things I'm just gonna leave in this bag and leave them in the van, except for maybe one of these drinks. Okay, so Riley's going to let us borrow her tripod today. Hers is a little bit smaller, but it was already accessible. Mine is on the roof. So we're gonna be filming with my camera, her tripod, and we have some cool snacks. I'm gonna show you a couple of them and then you're gonna have to go over to the other channel and see what happens. Okay guys, we just finished filming our video and you can see the snacks are all kind of everywhere. We're gonna put those away and put the camera away and then on to our next step. 
I also changed sunglasses because I really like these. I found these at the um, 99 cent plus store and they matched my hoodie so well that I was like, ooh, ooh. So now for this one hoodie, I have two pairs of sunglasses that match. And I know guys, I just told you how many sunglasses were in my van recently and now we've added more. Uh, welcome to my life. Good morning guys. Yesterday after we had lunch and worked for a little while, I laid down and took a nap and it was so glorious. A lot of times whenever we've been going, going, going nonstop, especially to a lot of events, just wears down the body. So finally it was the day of rest and it was so nice. Um, I went to bed super, super early yesterday. I slept a full night and today we're off to another adventure. You can see Riley's putting things in her roof box over there. I'm about to put some things into my back end and uh, then I'm going to get dressed. Then we have a couple things to do, but um, I'm going to be sharing those on another video with you guys. I think it's going to be super fun. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's definitely an activity and it's something here in Arizona that one of our friends told us about. Well, two of our friends, Charles and Tony. So I'm really excited to uh, get to that. But for now, let's go put some things away and uh, then I'll wrap up this video. Okay, we gotta put the ridge bunkie up because I didn't put it up last night. So behind the door and then up the tray goes. We can set this right here to make it easier for ourselves. Then of course, under the bed, I have my stove. And then here is the container that I put all of my dishes in and cookware and stuff like that. So let's find a good spot for this. Okay, I got it put right on top. So the stove goes back here again. And then we're going to use these little latches to pull the table down. A lot of you have asked me more recently about my table. I do have a full video about how we mounted it. And then also you can see that we moved it because I flipped my van. So I talk a little bit about that on a different video, but it's time to close this down and uh, find our clothes now. Now, normally I don't leave my bed in full on blanket mode. I normally fold all of these little throw blankets, but it has been super cold at night. So I've just been leaving them made into the bed. And then I have my electric blanket, which I just have kind of rolled down here in case I need it. This has made my life so much easier. And I can always fold these up whenever it's a warmer day. So this has been how I've been rocking for a few days. You know, it just makes more sense to leave it like this versus folding and unfolding those blankets every single day because I've been needing them every single night. Now, again, I will go back to that other method when it gets a touch warmer, but right now it's like in the low 40s every night. And so that extra little layer of coziness is definitely paying off. Time to put the ladder back up. And again, you guys have been asking me a lot about this ladder. I purchased it on Amazon. There are several on there. They are not all created equally. At some point, I will drop a link for you guys. I just want to make sure I test this thing for a while before I suggest it because it is such a interesting thing and also could be dangerous if it kind of messes up. So I don't want to give you guys a link until I know for a fact this thing is not going to fail me. As of right now, all is good. I have gone up and down this thing hundreds of times. I haven't had any issues. However, I do want to make sure because some of the reviews I was reading on some of the ladders, not the one I bought, but some of them said that they have a super good shelf life and all of a sudden they just break. So I want to make sure mine is not one of those. As of right now, we're doing good. So I'm hoping to share that with you super soon. Okay, time to close up the back of the van. And uh, now we have to find clothes. But before we do, Riley is locking up her roof box. Riley, do you love your roof box? I, it's so useful. I, I'm so glad we have it now. Right, I think that we have to at some point show you guys what's in Riley's versus what's in mine. And that way you can see how each of us travels. Of course, Riley's a bit more minimalistic, but this allows her to carry some of the things that otherwise she wouldn't. And then with me, I have a lot of extra goodies and fun things in there, but I also have a lot of other functional items that I do want to show you guys in the future. So pretty soon we'll release a video about both of our roof boxes, potentially on the same day. So you can just go from one to the next or from one to the next and see kind of the differences. Also something else. Now, when I first got this roof box and then you guys saw that Riley got one, you said, oh no, you shouldn't have gotten the Cabela's one. The Cabela's one has a key that's like a universal key and you could go from your roof box to her roof box and open it. 
I assure you, you cannot. We have actually tested this because it made me very paranoid when somebody said this to me. That is in fact a debunked situation. Whenever you buy a Cabela's roof box, they do not have a universal key. So if you do lose yours, you're kind of in trouble because your friend can't open it for you. It just is what it is. But I did want to touch on that since we're talking about the roof boxes. But uh, now it's time for me to go find clothes. Let's go find some clothes. What kind of activity day is it? It's a fun one. So uh, what does that look like and translate into uh, with clothing? And just like that, we're off to our next adventure. I think you can see why I enjoyed that campsite. It was really nice. It was just really chill. We were able to just like relax a little bit and kind of put our heads back in order so that whenever we're going off to our adventures next, we will have a good time. Oh, goodness gracious. You know, as much as I've been on the road for as long as I have, I still have those days where I need a timeout, and that was definitely yesterday. Timeouts are good. They're good for resting your body, recouping, getting your mind together, and planning your next steps. I was able to edit a whole lot of videos, and because of that, we're gonna have some Nomad News stories coming out next week, so I can't wait. I'm so excited. But for the time being, getting on this road and uh, off to our next adventure. If you've enjoyed coming along just to see the mundane, the silly, the regular, the normal, the everyday van life, then thank you for coming along. Leave a thumbs up hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna continue doing some of these vlog style videos, but I'm also going to go back to some of my adventure videos because well, there's a lot of you out here who have been with me through the beginning and really wanted to see a few more of those in Arizona. So I've got some things planned. I can't wait. It's gonna be super fun. Until next time guys, remember we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Bye. Also, as we're departing the camp, this is the one part of the camp that makes it difficult. Somebody was driving out here. You can see it clearly whenever it was raining last. And they really rutted up the road quite a bit. On the first night, I didn't know that.